Yo, what is up, guys? I am back with another episode of Astroneer, and today we're gonna be going ahead and going to another planet in order to get uh, sulfur so that we can make an explosive powder with carbon. We have both the carbon right here. Um, and the reason we need this is because we need that. We need explosive powder in order to make uh, dynamite. Let's see, one explosive powder makes dynamite. And with dynamite, we can blow up what's called an exocache. And an exocache can basically, it will give us exochips. Plus, it'll also complete one of our missions to give us more exochips. And exochips are going to be needed in order to make a large shuttle, which we really want because we can bring more stuff with us when we go to other planets. And we already have the titanium alloy and the ceramic right here. We just need the exochips. So the plan is going to be to take this, which we have enough fuel to go to another planet and back, which the planet we're going to be going to is Kalidor because it has the sulfur that we need. And we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to grab this packager right here. Okay, and we are going to package our atmospheric condenser again. Well, I mean, not again, but, you know, it obviously when we built it, it was packaged. And put it in our shuttle right there. So we can bring that to get the gases because I don't really want to make a whole new one. We're just going to package that one. Um, we might want to bring an extra packager to package in it and bring it back. But we can worry about that later. So we also have medium storage plus both of our RTGs. We got some soil canisters. Um, but I also really want to bring a soil centrifuge because on Glacier that would have been really useful to get resin and compound and you know, all kinds of resources. So we don't have enough space though to bring it in the medium shuttle because I brought a platform and an atmospheric condenser in order to get the gas that we need, right? Um, so I'm just going to bring the resources for it and we can craft it there. So I'm going to put, I'm going to fill up two things in here and I'm going to make compound because in order to make a soil centrifuge, we need two compound and one aluminum and we have one aluminum right here and we can, I think it was in this one. Yep. We've seen the two compound and then I'm also going to make a medium printer and just bring the medium printer already. Uh, we could bring a gas canister to fill up with sulfur, but I don't think we actually need that much sulfur. I think we'll be fine with just a little bit. Um, I have the medium storage to bring it back and also just put the power stuff on. So, yeah. We don't have as much power as we did on Glacio because we, we aren't bringing any wind turbines or anything. But hopefully these two RTGs are enough to at least have the atmospheric condenser running enough to get enough. Like, realistically, we only need one sulfur. But I think we might as well um, get more than one while we're over there. So I think I need, I think I'm going to need five total because I need to make, actually, I don't want to make the soil centrifuge. I just have to have the stuff for it and make the printer. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the plan, guys. Let's go and grab this printer and then we're good to go. Because this printer should fit in my inventory because it should be a small box. Perfect right there in my inventory and we have an extra slot so i'm sure grab one more compound for another set of tethers and let's go so we don't have enough fuel to like do multiple launches but we have enough to get there and get back so that's just gonna have to be enough for now i guess we're not gonna be able to take multiple trips so i mean as long as we go to the right planet right i believe it's this one calador has sulfur yep could also go to like Aatrox because it also has sulfur and a lot of other things that might be more useful, but at the same time, we can go here for first. We didn't actually bring a beacon now that I think about it, but hopefully there's quartz on this planet, and if not, then, well, that just kind of sucks, doesn't it? The heck? I guess those are just plants. That looks kind of cool, actually. Let's hop out. Oh, let's get our platform down first right here and let's go ahead and put the atmospheric condenser on it and the medium storage and the medium printer wow this actually fits like a hundred percent like perfectly we might want to make a small printer too but i don't think i'm going to worry about that like right now i uh, expand this and we're just going to put both of the rtg things on here and we're going to start getting sulfur and this is a hundred 
like whatever that stands for. So it'll go pretty fast. So I don't think you can run at full speed because these are only one per second versus is 20 units a second. So it should be running at a tenth of its normal speed. But it's fine. <laughs> so I want to make a soil centrifuge. But we also don't exactly have the aluminum. Um, I don't have the aluminum. What am I talking about? Uh, the resin to make a platform. Like to actually be able to use it. So, also we can find some quick resin, which there's some over there. I think we can just dig over that, actually. Then we can just make another platform as well. And this ta might take a hot minute, though, because, like, uh, the atmospheric condenser is going to go really slow, especially when we're printing stuff, and also if we're using the soil centrifuge. So, I mean, really, getting, getting the sulfur is the most important thing, because I don't think there's really much else on this planet that I need here. Because I don't even normally go to this planet. Because I don't normally need explosive powder that soon. We need one more resin, though. And, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. Wait, does this actually use power without any mods? I don't think it does, does it? No, I think we're fine. And luckily, this isn't, like, rocky, like, on Glacio. So, we don't actually need any mods. Obviously, it's nice to have, like, the boost mod to drill it faster. But, I mean, <laughs> we're fine without it. It's not that big of a deal. Just kind of makes it take more time. I mean, you can see this is going, like, really, really slow. Um, we actually almost have one sulfur. We could literally just fly back with this one sulfur. But I think I think we should maybe set up a bit more. Um, plus, this planet looks pretty cool, actually. I don't, I don't know if I've actually ever been at this planet, which is kind of crazy. But, yeah, this is going to take, like, forever. Like, literally forever. Um, I'm trying to think of any other way we can just get, like, some, like, quick power. Well, we can, we can do small generators. We need to get some compound, which there was some right over here. So, let's go over here, and I'm assuming that this is organic. Oops, that one just had to fall over on me. Assuming that I can dig up all this stuff for organic. So, hopefully, we can get these generators running. Let's get enough for quite a few generators there we go we'll go build the generators and then we can get organic to fuel them but okay small generator we can make what four which will be hopefully it'll be enough for now let's throw it on there and let's just go grab like one organic to at, or at least like a few organic to at least get something going i think that might be a research item it's not oh yeah there we go yeah it is i don't have a chamber a research chamber anyway so i don't think there's much of a point but it's kind of cool it's there i guess okay there's not really a lot of organic here but actually we already did get like four that's actually more than i thought we got but it's fine oh the generator is already going that's not really what we want because we don't really want it on in our backpack that's why we got an extra organic because it just fell on the generator i forgot it actually does that Throw that on there. Make one more generator. And this probably still isn't going full speed. We could make two more generators. And I think we might as well. Just to... I mean, since we have the space, we might as well make two more generators, right? Actually, we, generators can stand on their own. Or we small generators. So the space doesn't actually matter. But it's a lot nicer when they're all on the same platform anyway. And let's get two more organic as well while we're over here. So we don't have to come back. That's kind of cool to see, though, that, like, the event stuff is on every planet. It's not just on the first planet or, like, just on a certain planet. Um, I don't know how much I actually talked about the event stuff. I don't think I did very much, but right now there's, like, the winter event going on. But we're not really going to do that in this series because we don't have, I don't think we have nearly enough time, really. Um, especially with trying to progress through the game generally as well. And I think it's, like, just for cosmetics as well, so it's not actually going to help us. So I think it's better to focus on actually um progressing through the game okay but this is going pretty dang fast now so we have we have all five sulfur so really we don't even need to do anything else but i think i want to get the soil centrifuge set up anyway well i don't know I, we don't really even need to like we could just take the five sulfur and leave leave like all of this stuff here except for these 
take that, grab this. We probably don't want to leave this here, but I didn't bring another packager, which probably would have been pretty smart. Actually, we can make graphite in the soil centrifuge. So maybe there actually is a reason to make the soil centrifuge anyway. Let's do that. Let's get the platform. Let's go gather up some more organic somewhere. Is there a better place for this? Uh, I don't think so. Let's just go over here. This looks pretty lush and full of organic greenery, shrubbery stuff. Uh, I don't know if... Holy crap, we actually just got a lot. What the heck? That was a lot. Okay. I'm not going to question it. Just going to take it. Cool. Cool. Keep giving me organic, I guess. <laughs> That's weird. And here I was saying that there probably wasn't going to be much. Okay. You know, this thing can probably run full speed when the atmospheric condenser isn't on. So I guess we'll just let it. Because, I mean, we don't really need more sulfur. It might not be a bad idea to get more, but I think it's going to be fine anyway. I don't... Is this full speed? I'm not even sure, actually. Well, it draws two units of power per second while active. And each one of these produces two. The QTRTGs produce two as well. So, you like, mathematically, it should be going full speed. But I don't know if more power can make it go faster, if that makes sense. Like, if having 20 units per second that it can easily use, does that actually make it go faster? I mean, I'm sure it has a max speed, obviously. But I just don't know if it can actually... I don't know how fast it can go. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, oh, we can also make quartz. Hmm, we should have done one of each, but it's a little too late for that. Okay, well, let's make the graphite, and then let's fill up. We really only need one soil container. But let's fill up one more soil container, and then we can make quartz as well, actually. So that way we can make the beacon, so that we can come back to this place, because leaving our atmosphere condenser here, since we don't... Actually, no, we are getting a packager anyway. I... Don't know why I totally forgot that this. The whole point of this was to get a packager. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I can't even remember what I'm doing. Alright, we almost got this one full. We don't even need to, because there's there's no point to make four. We're already going to make two, which is already more than we need. Um, let's just keep these full of organic if I can. Oh, that was the small one, wasn't it? Thanks, game. <laughs> both of these back grab the graphite and we need to find packager those are power cells i almost crafted that luckily i decided to read it because usually there's not multiple things like graphite isn't really used to make a lot of things i thought it was zinc to make power cells i guess not let's take this throw it back in here we're not going to worry about packaging anything else really because i don't think it really matters throw the organic in there Wait for this to finish. I guess we'll take the graphite back as well. We might as well. Um, we can grab the quartz, grab the QTRTGs, but we don't really care about anything else. I guess I don't think so. Because, I mean, there's not really much of a point to take anything else with us, I don't think. And leave the beacon here, and blue works because this isn't really a blue planet. So we got sulfur, and we got our atmosphere condenser still. Got both of our QTRTGs. And yeah, I think we're good, guys. So let's go ahead and uh, just fly back over there. Okay, just got back to the planet. And now we got our atmosphere condenser, which I'm just going to throw it back in the same spot it was already in. Because I pretty much might as well. And then we'll grab our sulfur. And we also need to grab the two carbon right here. And we can make the explosive powder. Now... The exo cache that we need to blow up, we have an exo cache that we found really, that we, like, we have just right at our base, basically, on Glacio. But I don't know if I want to find another one here or make some fuel and then go back over there, because I don't have any fuel left. So I might have to make some fuel. We can craft this into the dynamite really quickly, though. And there we go, dynamite. You know, the explosive powder looks pretty cool. I know they reuse some of the models, um, but that still looks pretty cool with the coloring and stuff. Okay, so for more fuel, we need hydrazine, which we already have hydrogen, but then we need two ammonium, which is going to be four soil canisters. 
which is going to be kind of annoying. I'm actually going to make a fourth soil canister because I can. And I'll just fill up all four at once, and then we can come back and make two ammonium. And then we'll fly over to Glacio, blow that thing up, get the mission, and come on back. And really, I mean, you guys have seen me dig soil like a billion times, so there's, I mean, I'm just going to do this real quick. Alright guys, I just got all four soil canisters completely filled up, so we can throw them in here. I'm going to grab, uh, looks like we have a bit extra, I'm going to grab that one back as well. And we can make one ammonium. This is probably going to take a minute though, which kind of stinks. We can throw this RTG back on there in case we ever want to drive it. Um, we could smell this quartz into glass. I think I might honestly just save it for, like specifically for another beacon in the future on a different planet if we need it. But, um, so once we get the exochips, I think we get exochips from blowing up the caches, but we're also going to get them from doing this anyway. Um, let's, let's look at some of these that we can do while we're waiting for that to finish, which actually just finished the first time. We can go put some more soil in here. Um, okay, we have two, perfect. Actually, let's grab that one and put that one back. Make another ammonium. So, mission, that's the wrong thing. Mission log, I don't want that one. I thought it would close that one. Let's see, what else can we do? Place a landing pad on another planet. Oh, we can do that. Let's see. What do we need to do to build a landing pad? Aluminum and one aluminum and two ceramic. We probably have that. One ceramic, two aluminum. Um, we do not have another. We do have another ceramic, but we need that. So, let's see. Do we have? We don't have another clay, but I could go fill up another soil canister. I should only need one soil canister this time, so it'll be real quick. Um, that way I can make the clay, and then I can smelt it into ceramic, and then we should be able to make a landing pad, which I'm not going to make it here. I think I'm, actually, I don't even think we have a large printer on the other planet, but I don't know. So I want to make it over there just to finish that mission as well while we're, while we're at it, right? Let's see. That is, why does it always do that one? That's so frustrating. It's fine. Um, clay times three. And we need to kind of clean out our inventory a little bit. Graphite we don't actually need right now. Neither do we really need these tethers. Let's see. So we have... Okay. Well, this aluminum we don't need in our inventory because we needed to craft that. And we have the one aluminum and the two ceramic to make the landing pad. And I also want to grab three compound to make a large printer. And then we can grab the other ceramic. Perfect. Explode the exo... Ch or the... Not the exo chip. <laughs> Explode the exo cache and get the exo chip from the exo cache. <laughs> Alright, come on. There we go. It didn't want to go onto the fuel thing. There we go. So, let's just smelt all of it. Because, realistically, we don't actually need any just like raw clay uh, i think we'll just get the exo chip though and then bring him back and build the large shuttle here because i don't really see much of a reason to like build it there there's just not really a point i'm just gonna bring it back but we have the dynamite we have the stuff for the landing pad enough for a large printer so actually i could just like build the printer here and put it in the back it's fine let's just go it doesn't really make much of a difference uh, in what order we do it in. But... Glacio. Dang, Glacio's far, dude. Are we rotating? Oh, yeah, we're we're going around that sun. Or, I guess not that sun, but that star. So, that's why Aatrox is so, like, gassy, I guess. And Glacio's cold, right? Cause, yeah, because it's far away. Makes sense. Um, ah just missed our beacon so we're gonna go as fast as possible it's probably gonna be like right around here when it comes around i think that should be right um yeah there it is perfect and we should be good oops 
make those wind turbines go. All right. So uh, did we bring Exocache up? No, we didn't. Why does this happen every time? There we go. <laughs> it always isn't quite connected. So I think we need to go f down really quickly and find an Exocache. Uh, it shouldn't be. It isn't very far along the tether line, I don't think. So it shouldn't take us that long. And then we can just we can blow it up down here, I guess. No, let's just bring it up. Yeah, there's, it's actually a widowy right there. Let's just bring it up though, because I'm not sure if I can hold everything. Because I think it has a bunch of stuff in it. Oh, apparently I can't hold it. I have to move it like this. It won't let me just carry it. I guess it's, it must be too big. Um, so it won't let me carry it with two hands. I'm not strong enough. I need to hit the gym a little bit. The space gym. Probably on like the space station or something that I launched off of. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. You can make like a gym. You can like walk faster while you're carrying things. This is probably going to be a bit of a pain, huh? Let's just walk very slowly with it. <laughs> oh, shoot. I think it tried to put it through the roof and it didn't like that. Okay, not what I wanted to do. Jeez. If only he would just let me hold it, we could just walk straight up, but no. And it's going to do that again. Ooh, what a catch. We could honestly just walk ever so slowly up here <laughs> if we really want to. Um, which I mean, I don't really want to, but... I think this is going to be what we're going to have to do. Either that or we take out the ceiling. But I think I'm just going to do it like this. We'll get up here eventually, I guess. <sighs> I wonder what's inside this, though. Because I've blown one up before, I think. But I don't remember what was in it. I think we got exochips. I don't remember how many. And I don't remember if there was other stuff in it. Let's see. Is that out? Oh, please tell me that put it on the surface. I might have just messed up. Okay, it did. Oh, dude. If I had to go back down and find it down there, that would have been an absolute pain. Okay. So let's take it to a bit of a secure distance over here. <laughs> and all we do is we throw the dynamite on it. And we do detonate. Here we go. And now we just wait for it to blow up. Didn't take very long. Let's see. Exo chip. Exo chip. Is that it? Just two exo chips? Yep, that's literally it. Okay. <laughs> I expected it to be a bit more, but that's fine. I mean, that's enough to build the shuttle besides, you know, the achievement. Let's see. Large printer. And that way we can make the landing pad. And we can move this over here. I don't remember. I was probably going to do something with that. I don't remember what I was going to do with it, though. So, whatever. We're going to just move out of the way now, I guess. Okay, hopefully this wind will blow the whole time. So that this can go full speed. Actually, let me throw that down as well. Maybe that will speed it up just a little bit. We can grab our extra chip back now as well. So, they kind of look like RAM sticks in a computer, you know? I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Well... Oh, yeah, it does look like that. I mean, I guess it is kind of a similar thing. It is like a computer component, I guess, kind of. Except not really at the same time. Hopefully this wind comes back on soon, because this is draining the batteries. I think it's going full speed still, though. So it's actually not draining it that much with the RTG on it, which is good. And there's the wind, so it should start filling back up. Perfect. Printer. And we need to make a landing pad. Okay. Hopefully this won't take too long. Because I don't want to have to wait when the wind goes out again. And then we're going to have to sit here for like 10 billion years. <laughs> um, it's already almost through the, the one aluminum. So it's like, what, a third of the way done? Assuming the ceramic doesn't take longer. Or isn't shorter as well, I guess. Uh, now... The wind stopped because it took too long. Oh, let's just get this thing crafted. All right, guys, we got our landing pad down right here. Now we can go ahead and expand it, and there it is. So we can, I think, I don't know if this does a beacon or not, but we can actually land like right here now. Um, okay, this is a lot of stuff. Blow up data recorder. Find vehicle data recorder onto Solo. What? Oh. Jeez, there's a, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, 
So we can land there now, and I'm going to move the tether over so it'll hopefully reach there. Actually, we should probably keep that there for now. Actually, we can do that when we land next. <laughs> um, and yeah, we could actually bring these storages back. No, actually, I think I'm just going to take the resources, as many as I can hold in my inventory. And then we will just dip right on out of here. And yeah, we'll call it good then. Let's go back to our base, and we can uh, claim two missions, and we can make a large shuttle, which is going to be sweet. There we go. Just making sure I was getting the right planet there, and we just flew right through that planet. You'd think it was a gas giant, but apparently not. <laughs> uh, game physics, right? I also wish that, like, um... Like space travel was this e this easy in real life because it really isn't. It's not this easy to maneuver a spaceship, but <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's not super realistic, but it's still pretty fun. Let's see, do we have any room on these? One room there, and well, let me guess, one room on one of these. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's just dump this on the ground. We do need to try and get bigger storage containers soon. We don't need that right now. Let's grab both of this and large shuttle. Here we come. There we go. But now we're going to have to wait for this thing to um, make. Actually, oh, that's kind of cool. It like, I was kind of curious actually how it like goes through this because everything else it goes through like all these little circles or all these little blocks, right? As it builds it, but kind of chips off that. That's cool. You know, you would think that like, the exochips, as in, like, the computer technology in it, you'd think that that wouldn't be built first while it's building the, f the feet of it. You'd think they would build the uh, titanium alloy or the ceramic first, but, <laughs> you know, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't actually matter in this game, apparently, uh, which is built first. But it would make a lot more realistic sense. Also, I wonder why this one started at the bottom. Well, that one started at the top. Again, irrelevant. But oh yeah, let's let's claim our our missions over here. Let's move this shuttle out of the way. We can also actually go ahead and pull off the thruster because well, obviously we aren't going to be flying and the oxygenator. Get out of here, medium shuttle. We're just have a bunch of like random shuttles just laying around. Uh, three free exo chips, which is cool. And then we get oh a buggy and a rover seat. And the schematic for the buggy. That's cool. Let's check this thing out real quick. Unpack. And then we put the C in right there. And I think we need to put a QTRTG in it. Because it's going to need power. And there we go. Ooh, this is actually like a lot easier to control than like a... um. Than like the tractor obviously you can't have the trailers behind it for like research items but it'd probably be better when i'm just going out to like fill up my inventory this will actually be kind of nice to have yeah that's that's actually pretty sweet cool 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 it's nice whenever you get the free things from the missions though actually i can leave that on there what am i doing i forgot that was my extra one okay the shuttle should finish building soon which will be pretty hype um, but really, I mean, we're going to have more storage, but other than that, it's not actually going to help us much. One good thing about that, though, is we get two large slots, which means we can put certain things called, oh, wait, can we get medium research? Okay, I don't know. Um, but we can, if I can find where the heck they are. Oh, they're right here. I just already unlocked them. Large storages which are three ceramic, we can put them in the shuttle, and then we can put more stuff in there. It's kind of cool. Here, I'll make one really quick to show you guys what I'm talking about. If Actually, wait, we only have two ceramic. Okay, I'm not even going to bother then, actually. But basically, we put it in this back slot right here, and it basically gives us four medium spots instead of one large slot. But we can put in the oxygenator and the thruster. And yeah, that's pretty sweet. 
All right, guys, that is going to end it for episode seven of Asher Near. And, you know, we did pretty good in this episode. And this thing's falling over over here. Um, okay, it's going to fall over again, but whatever. That, that's irrelevant. So, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.